We had to rebuild the, the front of the building. On number 22, we had to rebuild from ground level up to the wall plate. They did a very careful process of recording the bricks and everything went back um, as existing. We've uncovered a painted sign on the front of the building. Um, so number 21 was originally a confectioner's, so th there was a sweet shop in there at one point. And there's a history of painted sign in Kidderminster, so it's fantastic to have found that. OK, so down in the cellar below the ground floor of number 22, we've repaired the vaulted ceiling where there was a hole in the floor. We've pieced in uh, new brickwork there. And then we've got a coal chute which was previously open to the rear yard area. And now that we've got the new extensions connecting to the back of the existing cottages, we've infilled that opening with new lintels and that supports the uh, foundations above. And then we've got an aperture in, in this wall uh, which was an existing original feature and it's thought possibly that there would have been a light left on that, on that ledge there to illuminate the area. The existing floor will remain as existing, the walls will just be brushed down and the space can be used for, for storage in the future. So in terms of the roof structure, we looked at the, the condition of the existing timbers. There was a timber decay survey undertaken. Uh, there's been a number of repairs made, so in some instances new timber have been added um, adjacent to the existing rafters. So we'll just walk through to the other half of the space. We've got this original beam here next to the chimney breast and we've got boarding around the staircase partition. And the boarding to the, the ceiling, although it's not thought to be original, is going to be retained in its current state. The whole staircase was taken down top to bottom. Um, because they were built into the wall, that meant some of the partitions had to be also taken out and rebuilt. Um, but it was carefully labelled and recorded and repaired in elm to match the existing wood. It's still quite higgledy-piggledy in its formation, um, but it's certainly structurally stable. And it's gone back to how it was originally, which is quite something.